remember that open source copilot framework that enables you to integrate an AI copilot into your application? It's called Copilot Kit, and it just got a huge new upgrade where it's offering developer tools to integrate AI copilots into products with ease. For the people who do not know, Copilot Kit is a suite of infrastructure solutions for building deeply integrated AI assistants or AI copilots into any product. And the reason why you would even want to do this is because you can add an AI copilot into your product without having to reinvent the wheel from scratch every single turn. This new update is named the Copilot Kit version 1.0 release, which is now available and it introduces key enhancements. There is a new sleek generative UI where you can basically render fully custom React components within the chat. There is the integration of GraphQL based protocols where the new Copa runtime uses a GraphQL API and it's going to be supporting input and output fields, which are crucial for real time applications. You can also stream data independently using the GraphQL at stream. There are new React SDK hooks such as the use Copa action, and this will basically allow direct interaction within the application. Then you can also utilize the Copilot Readable. This is basically a new hook that will optimize communication of application state. And lastly, we have the use Copilot chat suggestion. This is something that will generate chat suggestions based off the app state. Now there's so much more to this and it's something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video as we showcase what you can do with this new upgrade of the Copilot version 1.0 release. So with that thought guys, Stay tuned as we showcase what you can do with this update, how you can get started, and so much more. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video. Now before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel, and this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers, we have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. First things first, we're going to actually take a look at a demo video by one of the creators of Copilot Kit to showcase what has been released with this new upgrade. And we're going to be showcasing the features in a practical use case. Uh, the first thing we'll look at is a chatbot integrated into a spreadsheet like application, kind of like Excel. Uh, so in this case, we have, uh, you know, the spreadsheet, the data that's loaded here is a list of Copilot Kit feature requests. So a little bit meta. And of course, we have customer name, company size, feature request, you know, budget if we keep uh, scrolling through here uh, and this is the data now when an end user comes into an application like that they want to understand the data they're looking at and answer questions so in this case with a copilot integrated they can ask the copilot to help them out instead of just trying to read through all this data themselves they can ask the copilot for uh, help all right so yeah we get this analysis so we see you know voice command integration looks like there's a bunch of companies asked for this with pretty sophisticated budgets uh, and other features as well. So, you know, the next step here would be to ask the copilot uh, to create a table. You know, this PM wants to dig it deeper. They don't want to just ask these questions. So let's create a table based on this analysis. And this is another opportunity to see one of the other features of Copilot Kit, which is generative UI. So you can see, we don't just see uh, text here. There's actual fully custom React components that you can render inside of the chat. So in this case, we're rendering obviously a spreadsheet preview. Uh, we can create this feature preview and there you have it. You know, what would have taken this PM probably 10, 20, 30 minutes of work is just done in a few seconds and, you know, it might not be perfect, but it's 80% of the way there and they can now ju just step in for the last 20% and, uh, you know, move on. All right. Now let's jump to a completely different type of feature you can build with Copilot Kit and that's Copilot Text Area. A uh, Copilot Text Area is a drop-in replacement for any text area in your application that provides AI powered text editing. Uh, into your application. So in this case, we have a CRM type application uh, where the you know end user is selling e-discovery software uh, to these clients. So we first thing we'll see is we get AI auto completions. All 
All right, so dear Robert and Sarah, it was a pleasure speaking with both of you during our recent call. Uh, another thing we get is we can insert text. So we can say, recap the client's top three pain points from the last call and tag our Zoom call transcript as context here. All right, great. And we can say also, you know, re uh, put this in bullet point form. And there you have it, just done. All right, so now let's step back and look at the source code as we discussed. Uh, first thing we'll look at is the source code for the spreadsheet demo. Uh, and again, this is a template application you can find at the top of our GitHub. Uh, and first thing you notice here is this Copilot uh, provider, which provides the you know business logic you need to hook up an application into a Copilot. Uh, we initialize this with a Copilot Cloud public API key, which you can grab via cloud.copilotkit.ai. Uh, very easily grab your um, API key here. Uh, you can also, if you want, uh, self-host an open source version of the Copilot runtime, which we make available. Uh, another thing you notice is this Copilot sidebar, and that's one of the Copilot native UX components, fully customizable, that we ship as part of Copilot Kit. If you don't want to use that, you can use our headless UI uh, to just write your uh, UI fully from scratch. So obviously there's a lot you can do with Copilot Kit, but there are two high level functionalities that I want to just draw your attention to, um, even this introductory overview. Um, the first one is use Copilot readable. This is a React hook to provide front end context into the Copilot engine. In this case, we're providing the current spreadsheet data. We describe what it is and the value, get RAG for it uh, for free using Copilot Cloud uh, and many other features I can go into. Um, so this is how we provide information into the Copilot engine. Again, it can come from the front end, from the back end, from third party systems. Second component I want to showcase is use Copilot action. And that's for the other side of the information flow to allow the Copilot to take action inside of the application. Uh, and again, this has a front end, a back end and third party uh, variant. Uh, this function here, this action is to suggest spreadsheet overrides, right? To suggest the user an override of the current spreadsheet. Uh, it takes some parameters, which is a JSON schema object, uh, and which is fully typed. And then there's two functions you pass along. There's a render function, and then there is a handler function. In this case, this action is suggesting something for the user to do. So we don't want it to actually do anything. Uh, so this, in this case, the handler is empty and everything is handled by the uh, render function. Now there's two things you can notice about the render function. First, you can return any arbitrary React component. Uh, it's as simple as that, that's it. Uh, second thing is everything here is fully typed. So you might see here, uh, the, this inline JSON schema, everything gets actually propagated. All the types get fully propagated um, everywhere you need them. Uh, so that's extremely convenient from a programming uh, standpoint. Uh, so yeah, that's really the high level parts here uh, and you're welcome to keep digging in. Now let's quickly jump into the implementation of the text area. So first again, you'll see the Copilot Kit wrapper, no surprises there. Uh, other things that are not so surprising are use Copilot Readable to propagate information, in this case, the call summary into the Copilot engine and use Copilot Document Readable, which is a similar thing to propagate documents. Uh, so no surprises there, but now you have the Copilot text area. Now Copilot text area, uh, if you're familiar with React, you'll notice that the first half here looks exactly like text area. This is not an accident. Um, Copilot text is a drop in replacement. Anywhere we have text area, you can just change text area to Copilot text area and add one more configuration parameter, which is this auto suggestions config. Uh, and then you get all this AI functionality you saw uh, fully working. And that uh, was a high level overview and a walkthrough of all of these new features that are associated with the Copilot kit version 1.0 release. This was a great video that showcased all the different practical features of this update. And I actually have a video which showcases how you can install Copilot Kit locally onto your computer. And I have a full setup video on it. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at that video in the link in the description below. But that's a brief overview of this new Copilot Kit version 1.0 release. Now, the great thing about the Copilot Kit team is that they are continuously working on upgrading their platform as time goes and this is where they never back down on innovating their platform they have a couple of new upcoming features including a lang chain integration and a language agnostic backend extension and this is with the new python sdk they also have different weekly 
office hours on discord which i definitely recommend that you check out i actually joined one and this is where you can contribute to the open source framework so i'll leave a link to the discord link in the description below but that's basically it for today's video the copilot kit version 1.0 release is a robust solution for integrating ai copilots and it's providing a significant improvement in performance user experience and developer tools it's going to definitely enhance your product your application with the help of this copilot so with that thought guys i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different ai solutions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas